All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakodash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to us younger brothers and peace and blessing and salutation. Hopefully, I got that pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopefully the believers, the listeners who have came back. To the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. All right, and what I want to get into this morning, real quick, you know, is a response, all right, to the brother Elder Karatazak out in Vegas. Um, he did a lesson responding, you know, to a tweet, you know, or Instagram, whatever, you know, done, okay, by, all right, the nigga woman, you know, um, which I don't know, you know, who this is. Uh, might be, you know, famous, you know, celebrity, you know, any, everybody's <laughs> famous and some type of celebrity these days. But at the end of the day, you know, just the sentiment, you know, this, that you see from this tweet, you know, shows you that there's absolutely no, all right, fear, you know, of a higher power in the earth, you know, there, there, there's no reverence of the heavenly father in the earth. This is a generation, you know, Esau, Edom. You know, through, all right, his media, you know, through social media, through, you know, music, all right, has pretty much created a culture, all right, of a great rebellion against Yahweh Bashim al Shah. You know, this culture, this is how you know, this is a culture whom the Lord, you know, is going to judge with great wrath, you know, because this is a, a, a culture that is heavily, okay, against, all right, the righteousness of the scriptures. Okay, now you read it and she has a question. She said, who said being gay was a sin? The Bible? What Bible? Who wrote it? How y'all figure being gay is a sin? I'm genuinely asking. Okay, so you see, all right, the, 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 the proud, all right, the pride and the rebellion that's in the earth. Okay. See, everyone wants to question the Bible. Hey, <laughs> you see? No one questions Esau or his philosophies. You know? No one questions about, mm -hmm. you know, the things that, 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 that he makes, okay, law. All right, the things that he brings to pass. Does she have a question about the juice? Okay? Hey, <laughs> does she have a question uh, 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 about the military, all right, uh, uh, <laughs> industrial complex, okay, the prison system, <laughs> you see, the, 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 you know, street culture, does she, does she question it? It's absolutely not, okay, but when it comes to the Bible, everyone, <laughs> you know, Now, when you go to Isaiah 45 and 9, it says, Woe unto him that scribe it with his maker. Let the potsherd scribe with the potsherds of the earth. Shall the clay say to him that fashion it, What makest thou, or thy work? He have no hands. Okay? So here it is. All right? You have <laughs> mere mortals. And see, this is all because. They see Esau Edom do it because Esau Edom society is all about challenging the most high. And people see Esau do it and they jump up and do it. Okay? Esau challenged the most high with his with his doctrines, okay, with his laws. Okay, he boasts himself against the most high continually. And now the average person, okay, feels if they can question. Okay, and have some type of say so, but the scriptures say when you read the NLT, what sorrow, okay? Because see, this is a society that's finna be punished, man. Okay, and the, and the nigga woman, okay, is extremely out of pocket, man. There's no one that's more out of pocket than Esau and the nigga woman, man. The serpent and Eve. Okay, there's no one that's more rebellious against order than the serpent and Eve, man. And see, Esau and his society has, you know, exalted the opinion of the nigga woman so much to where they think 
you know, they hey, they hold weight. The average nigga woman thinks their opinion and their emotions hold some type of weight, hold so hold some type of weight and how the earth shall function, man. Okay? <laughs> but nah, what sorrow awaits those who argue with their creator. Okay? Does a does a clay pot argue with his maker? Okay? Does does a plate argue, you know? Does your car argue with you? You know what I'm saying? But here it is, we, we're created, and the way we create it shows you what we're created for. Okay? Because this is already done. Now, I'm looking at her thumbnail, you know, and it looks like a man and a child. So I don't know if that's her husband or baby daddy, but at the end of the day, okay, the way our body functions shows you the intention of creation, man. Okay? The, 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 the sexual organs. <laughs> you know that we have as male and female okay what happens you know with that union it creates life okay the 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 the, the nature itself okay show you the wisdom of the creator the most high through your house shy okay <laughs> it says does this does the clay dispute um, the one who shapes it saying, stop, you are doing it wrong. Does the pot ex exclaim, how clumsy can you be? Okay. And this is what this, the sentiment in the earth is, is that people, people have a mindset as if they can critique. Okay. The creator. <laughs> you see, you should be arguing with people of the earth. Now. You know, it's, a, it's an end thing to argue against the most high. Okay? It's an end thing to argue against a higher power. <laughs> okay? <laughs> we'll see, man. We finna see how this finna turn out, man. Okay? Let's get this, man. Ain't gonna make it long. Just want a <laughs> quick response. This is Isaiah. All right, two... And 11, it said, the lofty looks of man shall be humbled and the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down, as women included. And the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. Okay, so these lofty looks, you know, these little cute comments and, you know, open rebellion, that's going to be, that's going to be brought down. Man. That's a great humbling coming to the earth, man. Okay. And people are running to their own destruction. <laughs> okay. Under the, the 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 energy of Esau Edom, okay, which is pure rebellion, man. <laughs> okay, and it says, "For the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty, and upon everyone that is lifted up, and he, all right, and there's women included, shall be brought low, all right." And it's beginning with Esau Edom because he's a source of pride and rebellion in the earth, man. Okay, which this man has made rebellion an uh, end thing. Okay, she sounds no different than uh uh uh, uh what's the guy uh Noah Harari or uh, Yuval Noah Harari. Okay, oh well, well, Jesus is fake news. We don't need to wait on a man to come out of the sky to get immortality. We got some some scientists in the lab. Okay, it's the same sentiment, man. Okay, so is the judges. All right, so are the people, man. Okay, but there's gonna be, <laughs> there's gonna be sorrows, okay, for this pride and rebellion that's in the earth. To see, it's it's, a, it's only a matter of time when judgment opens up, and eventually Yahweh Shai himself is gonna step to the earth, man, and deal with this loftiness and pride that's in the earth, man, as a whole. Okay, so Lord, will you brothers, you knowing you sisters were edified, I just want to bring that out real quick to the next time, Shalom.